Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Matthew Rockefeller, and this video, yes, sir, y'all read it correctly. Your girl likes when you have options, groupies, HO3S, whatever y'all want to call it, man. So today I'm going to give y'all two reasons why this so happens to be the case, and I'm also going to give y'all a personal story of mine that relates to this topic, okay? So let's just hop right into the story, man. So about a month and a half ago, I was on a date with a fine-ass girl. Um, we were getting, like, tacos and margaritas, and it was fun. We were laughing. We were touching. The date was going great and stuff like that. But in the middle of it, she paused and she asked me a question. She asked me a question I'm sure most of y'all gentlemen have gotten before when y'all been on dates. She stopped, she looked at me and she asked, so Matthew, are you, um, are you um, like talking to anybody else? Are you seeing anybody else? <laughs> and I paused before I answered this. So let me tell y'all why. When y'all get this question, it's exactly how you play it. You always play it like this. You always say something along the lines of yes always say yes never say no let me tell y'all why you think a girl would like that you're her only option but in reality they don't like that shit because if you tell a girl that no you're the only girl i'm talking to you're the only girl that i'm interested that, that's interested in dating me a bunch of red flags go off in her head she's thinking well then why would i talk to you like, are you creepy? Are you psychotic? Are you awkward? Are you weird? Like, what am I missing here? Why am I the only girl interested in seeing him dating me? So here's how you play this, bro. You always say yes. Now, if you want to be modest about it, you can give her an answer like, so are you talking to anybody? You can say, you know, um, you know, currently I am until I'm finding someone I'm the most compatible with. But if you want to play like a little bit of swag, a little bit of drip to it, you can just say something like, yeah, you know, I am. <laughs> but I keep my options open, right? So always say yes. Now, let me give y'all two reasons why this still so happens to be the case in this world okay so the first thing y'all have got to understand is y'all have got to understand what social proofing is so long story short all social proofing is just you know your friend group who you're cool with what girls you talk to what girls you dated what girls like you all that stuff girls take all these things into account before they make before they take their next partner or they take their next hookup etc etc so let me tell you this i'll give you all a perfect example of this okay if you've been in a relationship before and you can relate to what i'm about to say raise your hand man like this like this video okay why is it that whenever you get into a relationship all of a sudden you get into a relationship. Now all the girls are on your ass. Now they're on your dick. Now they wanna talk to you. The reason for this is y'all, is because your girl, the girl that you got with, just basically did a giant ass social proof check mark for your ass, okay? Especially if she's bad. If your girl's above average, all this communicates to all the girls is that, oh, oh, he backed her? Oh, okay, he seems interesting. Like, what is she seeing him? Oh, okay, he got hurt. Okay, cool. Like, your value market goes up, okay? That's when all the girls start wanting your ass. It's much more common to girls go after men who are in committed relationships as opposed to the dudes in, who are single because the dudes in relationships have a giant social group. They got a fine ass wife. Other women want them, okay? So, the second reason y'all have got to understand this is just simply put, y'all, girls like competition. Now, if you're a high value male, <clears throat> what that means is that the quality of girls and the quantity of girls that like you and want you are going to go up, okay? So when a girl is on a date with you as a high-value male, she's going to know that you have other options. She's going to know that other girls are going to want you, which in return makes her even want you more because other girls are actively trying to acquire you because she knows you're a catch, bro. She knows you're a catch, okay? And that's why when women get dudes that they love, the dudes that they want, they wear that man like a bracelet, like an ankle, like a pendant, like a trophy. Shut off to all the other girls like, haha, look what I got. Look who's my man and stuff like that. This is literally, bro, how girls think. So girls love competition. So long story short, man. Just to wrap it all up, man, guys. It's better for your girl to know that you can still catch fish, if you get what I'm saying, as opposed to her being your sole only option okay it's better for you to be known as a playboy a casanova a romeo better than a dweeb okay because women will fall for the playboy type the casanova type a thousand times to one before they fall for the dweeb okay so just always keep your options open always say yes when you get that question that's just game i'm putting y'all on always say yes bro i promise y'all and if you like the content like comment, subscribe. I'm Matthew Rockefeller. Deuces.